<laughs> and uh, here's an apt question for Ross Korea. Oh, apt's my favorite word of the day. But uh, what, uh, what, what, are they called? what animal cults are present on Ross Korea? So we can see on this island the majority of the ones that you may be familiar with uh, from the Nordic ruins in Skyrim. Um, so the current cults that are still uh, existing on the island are the bear cult, the owl cult, and the hawk cult. But the majority of the other Nordic cults did survive on this island, but have since um, become extinct, so to speak. So you'll be able to traverse ruins for the fox cult, you'll be able to traverse ruins for the, um, for the whale cult, for the dragon cult. This bandit has the, the new iron armor set as well. In by Havono. And uh, it's it's very interesting, the, the cult thing. In some some ways, uh, Rosprey is beyond Skyrim, Skyrim, but not really. You know, you it's it's it just has that little bit of uh, religious element put in, I would say. Um, but you guys are doing uh, your best to try and uh, make it what, visually distinct from Skyrim, is that right? Yes, yeah, we are. I, I guess the cults on Roscrea, um, obviously the Jet Moritz who went to Skyrim and then they encountered the Alessian Empire and sort of everything got um, absorbed into the, the Alessian pantheon. Whereas obviously that's never really happened on Roscrea, so it's almost like a sort of how Skyrim might have evolved if if that had never happened. So yeah, it's um it's quite interesting that the sort of the old religion still still going on Roscrea. We have taken a lot of themes from the sort of the Draugr dungeons and um, our imaginations run wild with what they might like be in the present day. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. The, one of the goals I'd say is that uh, upon first glance you'll see a lot of stuff very familiar um, from Skyrim when you go to Roscrea, but the closer you look at it, the more you'll really uh, come to appreciate, I'd say, the cultural differences and um, just visual differences even too from the base game. Yeah, so hopefully there's a, you can just about tell there's a shared heritage, but it should feel quite a different playing experience. So uh, what can, anyway. can you guys tell me about the cave we're in right now? Um, got some sort of bandits of some sort. So these are the Corsairs, which are our equivalent bandit faction, and uh, the name is actually likely going to change because we have our native uh, Roskrian names for them, uh, Vashokar, which is likely what they will be called for the full release, but they're Corsairs for now. And they're similar to bandits in certain regards, but they are not the same culturally because they have their own culture. They worship different gods than the Roscreans. Mm -hmm. They come from an Atmoran seafaring culture and they um, we've got quite a bit of interesting lore that I don't want to spoil right now that you can um, read up on and get to experience uh, when we release. Yeah, I uh, guess if you anything... Know. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. So I guess, if anything, they're closer to pirates. So I don't know if anyone's seen some of our older playthroughs where we start off and do the sort of the whole journey to Craneshaw. As, as part of that, you um, do get attacked by Corsairs on the way out. So yeah, they're sort of, because Rogue's crew is very watery, they're, they're more like pirates, really. Yeah, I like that uh, seafaring element to it. Do we want to talk about the uh, overhauls to the dungeon set? I know Kel is in the call, and he is um, one of the people who's led kind of the transition and the development of this set. So, uh, yeah, I can, I can uh, um, talk a bit about it. Hi, Kel. Hi. Uh, yeah, I'm Kareto. Um, one of the art leads uh, for Roskrea. Um So the idea with the, the dungeon set is. Um, Pretty much what um, was said earlier about um, how Roskrea um, evolved different to Skyrim. Um, we wanted to kind of keep um, some similarity to the original Nordic dungeon set, but um, kind of experimented uh, with it in some other directions, use other materials, um, 
and um, it's still a bit in progress. Um, uh, though you can see some 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 bronze elements, especially and um, different stones used. Also, the the the, the patterns and uh, motives for various stuff is um, quite different to the Skyrim ones. So it's 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 interesting to to work on, and it's not entirely finished yet. But um, I think it's it's in a state where you can already see that it's quite different and has a very different feel to it, and even though it's still still keeping a similarity. Yeah, I absolutely love the new dungeons. Um, here's a, a question I want to throw in real quick: Is been asked a couple times, will the uh, animal cults uh, have uh, massive power, like in Skyrim? So Does anybody know? There are... Each cult has at least one, if not multiple, artifacts, but we decided instead of um, giving them all the same artifact, it would be much more interesting for them to each kind of fill a different role. So there's a great sword for one, there's a staff for another, there's armor for some, um, and they kind of... The different weapons and equipment and the effects that they have reflect the subcultures um, and the kind of facets of society that each of the cults um, pertain to. So for instance, you'll see the hawk cult, um, I believe, has a bow, which yes, it does. fits well with um, the cultural traditions of that totem. Yeah, I guess they don't necessarily have different powers, but the different cults still have different functions within Roscrean society, so you, they, they will feel quite different, and how you interact with them will be different depending on which particular cult it is. Oh, the, fro the frostbite spiders are, are uh, placeholders. We have our own spiders that were. Um, you had the same to say earlier. But they're not here yet. What was it? Um, the, the, the frostbite spiders are not... They're placeholders, and apologies. Ah, gotcha. Well, thanks for clarifying. Um, I guess I'll jump to a, another question from the chat. Was Do the Roscreens, the native Roscreens, do they consider sell themselves Nords or Atmorans or, or Giants even? <laughs> um, I think they would consider themselves Roscreen. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. They're distinct enough at this point they definitely don't consider themselves mainlanders they don't consider themselves mm -hmm. related to anyone uh, from Tamriel and although they still do have some of their tradition comes from Atmora they definitely at this point would consider themselves quite distinct from that culture and they're quite hostile to outsiders as well which um, will hopefully become evident to the player when you, you actually start playing the mod but I don't think they enjoyed being colonised I don't believe anybody would <laughs> so that's good to be see it's representing yeah so um, yeah the, the, initially they'll be very suspicious of you and, and not necessarily particularly friendly yeah yeah, certainly, and a lot of the challenges we've seen with writing have uh, been related to properly characterizing them in such a way where they can um, be hostile to the player, but also not tread the same themes over and over and over again for you know the majority of the NPCs in our mod. But we've done a lot of work to um, to develop the culture and develop the um, the characterization in such a way that I think. Uh, it's really shaping up to be something unique. Awesome. And uh, speaking of uh, the dungeon we're in, something common you see in Skyrim is word walls. So will dragons or word walls have any appearance at all in Rosprey? Or new shouts, even? Not really, no. no. We're trying to get away from Skyrim and make it feel um, like its own unique experience. Yeah, I like that as well. <laughs> Yeah, I'd say that the um, the dragon cult in Raskriat was toppled very quickly, and so they don't have much of a cultural impact 
in comparison to many of the other cults um, on the island, especially the bear cult who kind of filled their shoes as the dominant uh, political power on the island. And so you'll see that a lot of the more dragon cult oriented aspects of Nordic ruins um, in base game Skyrim are not going to make an appearance here or will be much more infrequent. The Skeevers are placeholders as well. So, uh, speaking of placeholders, is there any, uh, uh, what, recruits, and specifically you're looking for, what kind of skills does Roskria need uh, right now? I guess the main things we're looking for at the moment are um, editors. So we've got a lot of our quests nearly nearly finished um, in terms of writing that we could do with a few more editors just to speed up the sort of final proofreading so we can get the in game and we could definitely do with a few more implementers as well so once those quests are locked and ready to go in game and we we need ideally a couple more people to help us with that um a little bit of 3d work so i know we've shown a couple of placeholder animals but um we are gratifyingly through our our to-do list and sort of getting towards um working on the nice to haves now um but yeah more 3d artists are always very welcome don't know if anyone wants to chime in with anything else. They're probably the sort of the main ones. 